Welcome back to the shop. TRB Vlogs here. My name is Les. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're into business, into event businesses, whatever the case may be. Now, let's talk about the shop. I wanted to show you a couple tidbits that we do that make this place uh, kind of more efficient, more quick. Let's check it out. On every single one of these poles, we have a cleaner spray bottle. As you can see, almost on every one. Spray bottle. Spray bottle. And of course, some of these also have tape measure. Because sometimes, you know, you're looking for a tape measure. We're going to try to always have a tape measure there as well. Spray bottle. So you can see, there are a ton of spray bottles. You want to clean something quickly. You just turn around, grab the nearest spray bottle, and make sure to put that spray bottle back. In order to save money, this cleaning spray is actually our own. As you can see, we have this giant bulk cleaning solution container and we fill this and to just a, um, I think it's one in 10 concentration fill the rest with water and boom we have our own cleaning spray pallets are absolutely awesome for having things on them and if this place was big enough we would certainly have a forklift to use them because the space is not big enough we've now utilized these pallets as storage these are of course our cocktail table center poles you can see over here these are filled with tons of things uh, pole tent uh, flag pole tips uh, some bark bars we have uh, sledgehammers and crowbars and almost every single space here is filled with something something useful something that we can quickly grab and it just keeps it out of the way keeps it organized over here we have as you can see it's kind of at the center of the shop that's the back bay door we have a hardware assortment, nicely organized. You can see here, these are pop-up tent parts. These are, for example, for marquee frame tents or pole tents, um, leg bolts and other uh, assortments. We have patio heater, um, screws, just general screws. We have cocktail table legs. Uh, more screws and bolts, washers, bolts, all sorts of things. Essentially everything we need over here is our main tool bench. Now, cool thing about this, like most things you want to do, you can eat, oh, let's go on the other side. Even though it's super heavy with tools, it moves nice and easy. So right now it's here. But certainly if we want to utilize this space for whatever reason, we can simply move this out to the side wherever we want. So you can see we have locks here. We have safety glasses here. We have twisty tools here. We have sandpaper and trowels. And then we have squeezy tools here. Except for this one, although that part kind of squeezes. We have, of course, general trays. Bags, parts, skill saw, circular saw, tool bag. These are all you know, general screws. Basically everything here. These are paints. See, there's a bunch of paints there. And these are um, Allen keys, uh, files, basically um, rivet gun, circular um, bits. Some of our parts boxes are over here, and these essentially just slide out like that. Bring them right back to the back door over there, or we just grab one of these, or sorry, grab one of these, stick it on the ground, put that on it, and then we can wheel it out to the trailer or wherever it's going. Just a couple tips today, and that's it. We'll do some more tips or tricks or whatever. Uh, whatever. I don't know if these are tips or tricks, whatever you call it. Now, in 12 months, we are moving to a bigger place. At least that's the plan. The, the lease expires in 12 months. So slowly, we are looking for bigger places uh, for lease or maybe to buy. I don't think we can scrounge up enough money to buy, but maybe. Who knows? 
but yeah, we are planning to move to a bigger place, which would be really cool because then we can have a forklift come through here instead of just jumping on these ladders. As you can see, there's another ladder there and like picking up stuff from the top. That's not really safe. That's not really efficient. A forklift, I think, would kind of be the ultimate efficiency. And well, when we move to a new place in 12 months, that will be kind of the, the hope that we can have a forklift here. Guys, take it easy. Guys, gals, we'll see you later. Again, I urge you to subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'll see you later.